Hello everyone, welcome again. And uh, today we'll discuss about the encapsulation in Java. So I think I covered some oops, all the oops concept. Uh, what is inheritance and class objects uh, and uh, what is the different different types of interview question you can find in your interview room on Java. So uh, today we will discuss and complete on what is the encapsulation. It's a little bit confusing between the abstraction and encapsulation. So I will clearly try to uh, I will try to solve the your problem. So encapsulation, as you, if you don't know what is abstraction, you can watch my previous video. And um, this video you easily understand what is abstraction and how to achieve that abstraction in Java. So today we'll talk about uh, what is encapsulation. So encapsulation is simply wrapping a code and data member into a unit. Like encapsulation is a, in other in the other word you can say just I'm going to hide my important data. Like uh, if I'm going to use some private members, prime private uh, variables in my Java class. So how how can I use that uh, private variable outside of that class? So I use that getter and setter methods uh, and wrap that variable in that uh, that. Uh, get and setter method in a single class and a single unit and then it's behave like a capsule so it's it, that's why it's called the encapsulation so you can see here an example this is a, there is a user class in this user class there is a three member one is name second is age and third is salary and these are the private members and for accessing these members, I'm going to use some getter and setter class. How to do that, I will show you that practically. And then I'm providing some data by using these methods. So how to achieve that encapsulation in Java? I'm going to show you an example. So like I have a class, it's called user class. And uh, I'm going to remove this. And uh, my class name is user so there is some private member private string name and uh, there is a three member other uh, one is private int h only two member i am going to take for example for serving time and uh, how to generate that uh, getter and setter method so if you are using any id uh, so you can right click on that class within that class and uh, just go this source and you can use the shortcut under set s and then search here for getter and setter when i click on getter and setter let select the variable as a name if you want a single variable so select only once i want both so i select one so from that uh, id created automatically some getter and setter class methods for me how to use in main class so simply this is my main class and in the main class it is a main method and i'm going to use that uh, getter and setter and the variables so i have to create an object of that user class so i create an object user u equals to new user now i'm going to set a value for that uh, class so set set name name is like code one or u dot set edge edge is like uh, two year now I want to retrieve the data system dot out dot print ln so now I use getter I already use for a setter for set the value of that particular variable and now I want to retrieve that value so u dot get name plus sign and a space plus u dot get h so let's remove that extend class so just make that so indirectly what we are going to do we are just using that setter and getter method we are using uh, we are providing initializing the value to these variables these are the private variables and we are going to access from this class main class so we are here we are set the values 
the name is code 1 and age is 2 and finally we are getting the value so we are not providing value directly so we are providing value indirectly so it is a it is it's used for a secure for security purpose also so like you can see the output when i am going to run this program you can see the output here is a code 1 and the 2 so this is the way why we you can achieve the encapsulation in java so I will provide the link in the description box in the description box you can check all the theory and read the complete theory it will uh, help you to explain a better understanding what is encapsulation and what kind of uh, questions you may be occur in your interview room about that uh, encapsulation so I will discuss some important points like encapsulation in Java is used to do data ID so indirectly we are hiding our variables so it is helpful for you to use the code once i created a class once i created a getter setter class or injection we can use it again and again on some other classes also so unit testing is a very easy for encapsulated code so uh, as a developer level we have to uh, we have done some we have to do some uh, testing so unit testing will be done on the developer level so unit testing will be become very easy when you are going to use the data setter or encapsulation in your uh, code in your application so encapsulated code easy to maintain like we can change in a code or a class without affecting the other class like i want to change some variables so i can change directly in a in this user class so i don't need to make changes here or in other class so encapsulation helps to make our code secure as you know um, we are using the code indirectly so it's very it's very useful as a security purpose also and uh, now we'll discuss some important uh, interview questions so, so my first question is uh, what is the difference between encapsulation and data hiding data hiding like data hiding is a wild concept like hiding something and uh, encapsulation is a part of uh, data hiding you can understand this like this encapsulation is a part of data hiding and uh, it's a oops concept and uh, if you want to read more so click here and uh, you can click here and read this is a great post and a great article why the difference between dotnet so you can read the complete code complete uh, blog complete post what are the difference between uh, encapsulation and abstraction if you don't know what is abstraction uh, watch my previous video uh, you will understand what is abstraction and you, you easily know what is encapsulation now and what is encapsulation now for a definition purpose i'm telling you abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation detail and showing only the functionality of the application uh, if you want to read in detail so just click here and you can read encapsulation is a process of wrapping the code and data member in a single unit then it's a behave like a capsule a medical capsule like what is the advantage of encapsulation in java so simply you can say data hiding easy to unit testing security reusability of the code so this is i think enough about the encapsulations and encapsulation as you know is the oops concept and using java and it's for security purpose everything guys if you want to learn java or some simple questions on java some interview questions you want to cover just come on that code1.com subscribe this channel and i will provide daily updates on that java technologies and different different technologies like we are going to uh, try to make some tutorials on android also so you can subscribe for more updates or uh, i will provide all the links required links all the codes in a description box please check it and have a look thanks